Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Disconnected Gamers Podcast, where we reconnect with life and gaming. Mostly rambling. I am Andrew, also known as Jabon. With me as always. Uh, it's Michael, or you could find me on Twitter, mtong. Just gonna start using that, mtong. Just shorten it. Shorten it? As opposed shorten to it. just Mike, which is one Mike. syllable? Right, well, so people can just find me on Twitter, because... Yeah, I, I mean, know. well, the problem is because, like, you're screening it, you, like, see, I'm J-Bun because my PSN is J-Bun. Your PSN is Solid Mike. No. Mm. Is it Solid Mike? That's my Twitch. It's your Twitch. See, you gotta, you gotta... I gotta, you, I gotta you find gotta a, a niche. Condense. You gotta, yeah, gotta condense. Niche. Niche. You gotta it. brand yourself. I'll figure it out. Yeah. I'll you get the, the poker and the hot fire and then stick it on your arm. Just brand yourself. Right. Come uh, up with something next. Yeah. Uh, so this is episode 32. And uh, because we're a little pressed for time because we're pre-recording a few episodes in advance because we've got some events coming up where we're not going to be able to record together. Um, so we're going to do like two or three, you know, shorter apps. Yeah. And then, yeah. you know, we'll po we'll still post them. Like, obviously this, we're recording this on Monday. We didn't get to record it last, uh, yesterday because we played video games all day. Um, oops. And oops. so that's that. But, uh, this was a topic, the topic of discussion, which jump right into it was suggested by icy dude. He knows who he is. He apparently loved the uh, – we were talking when I was streaming uh, Link's Awakening, and he said he he said he nearly died at the part where we were trying to remember the name of the studio doing the port for Uncharted Collection, and we were like, Blue, blue something, Blue Point, and we were just like, fuck it, Blue's oh. Clues. Blue's Clues is porting yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> so <That's right. laughs> apparently we're at least entertaining to one person. Sweet. Uh, so, so uh, he suggested this topic, and his question was, holiday season 2K15, a.k.a. a few months from now, who wins, PS4 or Xbox? Mm -hmm. It's a complicated question because it's, Very complicated. it's not like uh, – the short answer is PS4 probably wins, right? Probably, That's yeah. like – There's some kind of holiday bundle for both, but I'm sure PS4 will have the – the better deal. I don't even. Know, I don't know that they'll have the better deal. I just think that PS4 just has always sold more, and it probably True. will continue to sell more. Which right. is where it gets. Which is where it gets. Um, Weird, I think. Yeah, because, because like the Xbox Microsoft usually will drop their prices, and they've already. Like, I'm sure they're going to drop prices for holidays. Too, you think so. they're going to drop it again though? Like I they said, they might the, like, mm -hmm. I think it might just be for holidays though, not like a permanent cut. Because the three, the three, cut. the three forty nine is permanent, right? The, the five hundred gig right, right, is three forty nine. Yeah. Now that the one terabyte is three ninety nine. So at least when you look at them, like if you look at them from a standpoint, the Xbox is fifty dollars cheaper, or you get fifty percent more hard drive space for True. the same price. Um, I think what they might do is they'll just start together some kind of holiday bundle. Yeah, they'll bundle, throw like, a game with it. 60, yeah, like, like maybe there's a uh, this, this for you know three forty nine Halo Five bundle. Right, and they'll toss in an extra game or something like that. Yeah, like rare. There could be a, like a rare replay bundle, which that comes out. Oh man, uh, is it around the holidays? No, rare replay comes no, out before? tomorrow. Oh, Tomorrow's that, Tuesday. Finally, GameStop has Battletoads. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Because uh, I, 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 yeah, I, I definitely I agree with PS4. I just I just think I think the reality is that PS4 has interest. continued to sell so much. That it, it doesn't look like it's letting up. I just think PS. I think short answer, PS4 probably wins, PS4, right? I think yeah. that I think the playing field is completely level. I think they are both on even ground because you mm -hmm. can say that the PS4 uh, holiday lineup for games is pretty weak, right? It's not a whole lot of games. Like Until Dawn's right, coming yeah. out soon. Um, you know, mm -hmm. Galaxy's coming out tomorrow or tonight, technically. <laughs> You know, uh, Rocket League is pretty good, and that's only on. But that is, they said it's coming to other consoles in the future. Um, but right. I don't think anybody's buying a PS4 for Rocket League. Let's be honest. Um, no, yeah. you know, people got a PC, but whatever. Yeah. You know, you've got Metal Gear Solid Five. Um, September, yep. You know, so you've got games leading up to the holiday, but there aren't a whole hell of a right. lot of holiday releases. You know, whereas like True. Xbox 
uh, is what Tomb Raider, Halo Five. Hang on, let me go and I'll get that. I think Gears of War. Yeah, Gears of War. Is that next? Oh, and shit. there's some deal where you get all the Gears of War games or something like that now. GameStop has your favorite retro classics. Um, as I'm going on their website because they sell retro games again, but they have the they have the fucking Retron Five for one twenty seven ninety nine. I think that's the cheapest I've that's seen. like the cheapest I've ever seen it. It's normally like yeah. 150. 150, uh, yeah. Which is awesome because it plays NES, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Nintendo. Master Drive, Genesis, yeah. uh, Famicom, Super Famicom, then Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Games. So oh, does nice. that, the problem is it does everything but N64, which would be like the one system I really want it to play. Um, right, but I mean, even then, don't you have at a least, 64? Yes, but the but it was more that oh, this I is HDMI. You, right? you know, this if would be you want one to stream, yeah, because it'd be one have one console. Um, all I'd have to do is have my my stuff set up, but whatever. Um, all right, let me get to Xbox One and let me get to uh, where's the how do you get where's my releases? Uh, all right, so whatever the call dropped, and I was saying that I was gonna go look up release dates on stuff on xbox on games right yeah so, i can't think of anything else that's coming out um let me let me just get to where it's gonna show me release show me fucking current releases GameStop. what the hell i'm gonna go to a different site pre-release available it's yeah so rare replay rare replay is tomorrow uh gears of war ultimate edition is uh at the end of the month it's august 25th um <laughs> Dishonored, same thing, August 25th. Madden NFL 16, August 25th. And, um, yeah, Metal Gear Solid, September 1st. Mad Max is also September 1st. Then you've got Forza Motorsport, uh, September 15th. You get NHL 16, September 15th. Mm. You know, it's like every week there's tons of stuff coming there's out. There's tons of stuff, I yeah. mean, the NHL games and the NFL games, are they're multi-platform, so whatever. But I, uh, right, yeah. I don't think sports games have the market like they used to. I mean, I could be no, completely wrong, but I just... Um, you know, Taken King is September 15th. That'll be huge on both We've consoles. Got FIFA. December, Just Cause, and Hitman. Or at least for PS4 is what we've got for uh, December titles. Yeah, Rainbow Six Siege is October. Shovel, Black Ops Knight. Shovel Knight for Xbox is October. That's cool. Yeah, Halo 5 Guardians Limited Edition Collection, October 20th. It's 250 bucks. It's pretty steep. But, so I mean, that's the thing. Like, I'm looking at this, and I'm like, hey, these are some pretty good games. Uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate, October 23rd. Mm -hmm. I'm sure uh, people are going to buy Rock Band and Guitar again. Halo 5 Guardians Limited Edition releases October 27th. Why doesn't... Why Wait. does the other 250 thing release, like, a week prior? That's kind of weird. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, Halo 5... I mean, I could see them doing a, a Christmas bundle of like Halo 5 Guardians, you know, in the Master Chief right, collection, yeah. right? Master like Chief you get like Master Chief collection plus Halo 5 Guardians uh, for 349 yeah. and that's a better deal than like if you get a PS4 for 399 Plus, with like a PS Plus subscription. Like you're going to need the PS Plus things anyways. True. So but I just I just I don't know, I just don't think I think that Xbox will win in the sense that there's more games to buy. I think actually the, they have about the same lineup. They don't have a big, at least where I'm looking. They don't besides Halo and stuff like that. Rise they don't of the have Tomb a Raider, huge, like a super huge. Besides, yeah, Tomb Raider and Halo Five, but I mean everyone's different. There's stuff that I'm sure everyone's Track excited for. But the rest is like turbo, uh, multi-platform. So yeah, there's what a, they've there's got, a decent amount of Halo stuff. Uh, and uh, Tomb Raider. Yeah, and that's that's pretty much it. But I I just think that in terms of that, I think the but I think Halo, the, so. Yeah, I mean I think Halo is going to be huge no matter what you do. It's Halo Five is going to be huge. Like I'm going to buy it. I'm going to be playing it. Kids are going to want an Xbox for Christmas because of Halo, sure. Yeah, I mean, and I think that there's also the fact that no matter what way you prefer, you're going to get whatever your friends have. So if all your friends, oh yeah, for sure, have an Xbox, right? They're just going to get an Xbox. Xbox. You can pick up an Xbox. If all your friends have PlayStation, you're gonna get a PlayStation. Like if you're like me, you just have to have all of them, so you just oh, buy them yep. all. So you're just like eventually, you know. I didn't get an Xbox One at launch. I had to, you know, wait a while and make it yeah. worthwhile, and then I bought it. Um, so but I just, <sighs> yeah. I mean, my whole thing is that I just think 
like from a from a standpoint of if the trends are going to keep going the same way, PS4 is going to continue to outsell Xbox. I think the difference is that I think Xbox outsell. is catching up. I think Xbox is going to catch up because they're doing the right oh, yeah. thing, right? They've got the backwards right. compatibility for 360. I think while people like to shit on that, I think that's going to be huge for them when you get to right. the bottom line of the parents that are walking in to buy these consoles for their kids don't know anything. So they're just going to be like, "Does it play? my kid's got an Xbox 360 right now. Does it play the Xbox 360 games? Yeah, actually it does. Uh, I'll take it, right? You know, Whereas Ooh, if yeah. whereas they're going to say, well, the PlayStation 4 is this, but, but then i got to get all new games for my kids, right? they're not the same yeah no they're not the same sir i'm sorry oh. give me well, the give me the, the give me give me the other one give me the x give me the x machine give me that one the green one uh <laughs> fucking land before time uh so i just think that the reality is is you know while we may look at it like you know i want this or i want that like you have to remember there's a huge amount of parents who are buying these for their kids right. as, a, as, a, as a surprise, as a gift. And like, yeah, they'll probably hint to their kids and be like, well, if I was going to get you one of them new video game machines, which, which one, one would you want? want? Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that the reality is, is they'll probably say whatever their friends have or they're going to get the next version of what they have. I think it's really easy for somebody who has a PS3 to want a PS4 or a an Xbox exactly. 360 and one an Xbox One. I do think it's weird to shift um, between right. consoles, uh, but um, I definitely, you know, we're seeing that happen. We're seeing a lot of people get PS4s instead because they want different games, you know. And in the PS4, I really, I'm so sick of remastered, which is why I'm like, I, I'm excited for Rare Replay, which is just remasters of old because it's just but the yeah, difference just, is those are old games yeah, right they're not collection you know it's not games. i'm not getting a remaster of a game i played on the console before right so that's that's where i can't something to look forward to yeah i can't stand i just i you know i'm probably gonna end up buying the uncharted collection it's gonna bug me to buy it though because it's not a full because it doesn't have it doesn't full. have multiplayer and right. i don't know how much i'm gonna play the campaign's over again. You know, the reality is, is I'm, I'm pretty much buying it for beta access to Uncharted 4. Right. Which, I mean, I never beat two or three, so that's that'd be a good reason for me. But. Yeah, I've yeah, I beat them all. Um, but I think, like, ultimately, if I can't swing just getting a beta code outside of buying the game, I'll buy the game. You know? Right. It's just... Uh, yeah, it's just... Mm. It's just the way it is. Uh, for it's me true. though, I don't. You know, holiday season is generally for me. I don't buy games during the holiday season. I don't usually, think about. I it. usually don't because I don't like one. I don't like to spend money about for myself, and two, uh, like I'm probably gonna end up picking up a bunch of stuff on Black Friday, like I did last year. Yeah, it's you know? usually the best time. You know, I'm gonna see a couple games that are dirt cheap, and I'm just gonna pick them up. Like I got like Metal of Honor Warfighter like two years ago for like ten right. bucks, and it was the limited edition, so I got the steel book and and all that fun That's... stuff. You know, I just don't. I don't think that I'll be spending that much. I just I don't know. I hate spending money for myself. So like, and of course, like <laughs> I say that after like I bought the. I mean, I bought the Alienware Alpha so I could stream, and I had a more dedicated right. But there's yeah, there's you a, know, there's a, a reason to it. Like it's like I bought. I, I said I wasn't going to spend any more money, and then I bought that friggin' wood chipper. But I've I've managed <laughs> to. Used- I've cleaned out like ha- like a good portion of my backyard with it. Yeah. Um. And well, and just, and the just, double the double advantage to the wood chipper is that when I chip it into the wood chips, I use the wood chips as mulch in the front yard. Boom. So like, boom, take that. Cause I don't have to go buy mulch. Sure. And it's like, you know, am I, you know, it looks probably weird as people drive by because they see like one quarter of an Island that's like mulched in wood chips and the rest of it's just dirt. And like, they're probably right. like, why did he not buy enough mulch? And it's like, I'm not buying enough mulch. I'm using the wood chipper to chip it. Boom. I do actually have to, uh, I do have to bring the wood chipper to work to chip wood that I've already brought there and some wood that we have there that I might as well just make you like the problem is like now I see like piles of wood and I'm like, that's a, that's a wheelbarrow full of mulch I could use. It's true. You know, why not? But, why not do it? 
But uh, I don't know. The holiday season's weird. I think they're going to sell a lot of Xbox Ones. I think they're going to sell a lot of PS4s. I don't like the weird thing is, is I, I, I wish they would make accessories that I wanted to buy, you know, like I haven't, I like I have, I want controllers to be cheap. You know, I want the controllers to go on sale. I want to be able to buy, like, I just want to get an extra controller. You know, I've got extra, I've got an extra Xbox one controller because I needed it. Because when I, when I brought the Xbox to, um, my brother's house, like we couldn't play without the second controller. So, I just went and had to pay the ridiculous sixty dollar price tag for an Xbox One controller at Jeez. Target. It's just so expensive. Like I just feel like it's so expensive. Yeah, but expensive. at the same time, it's like, oh, you have the controller forever, you know. Right. So I mean, well, the reality was, is I got the free PS3 controller because I fixed all of the other ones. You know. Right. It's true. Like the PS camera, the PS4 camera, which I feel like is far more technically advanced than the controller, was forty bucks. So how mm-hmm. how come the controller is sixty? Right, I don't get that. And it like it has a terrible battery, anyways. Which is why matter. I just buy the fifteen foot USB micro cables. Right, which I need to do that. But yeah, yeah. That's the thing. It's like uh, I mean, Christmas. Uh, the, I guess the the other thing is it, it's also different for me. Like we don't really celebrate Christmas, you know. Like we don't do the like tree and oh, presents and tree, yeah. we have like a small little fake tree that we set up just so that because we have a big window that like you kind of pass when you drive by the house so like we put a tree in it so it, like at least people think like oh okay they're not like anti-christmas whatever um, right we just it's just not a, it's i don't know it's just not right a it's thing not a big deal do. you know if there's something yeah. i legitimately need or want i usually save right, up my money up. and i just go buy it yeah i don't like wait around like hoping i get something at christmas so Right, because then that then that leaves the ability for disappointment, and it's like it's not worth it. <laughs> it's true. So, it's true. Um, that's that's my whole thing. But yeah, I I mean that my my answer to your question, icy dude, is I think PS4 wins. I think PS4 wins, but I think it's a close race. I really do. Right, that's what I was to say. I, like I think the, PS4 wins at hardware. Full clear winner, but or full clear winner, but. In terms of what might sell more, yeah, I mean, and we didn't we, we didn't even look at like we we didn't even factor in the Wii U, and I I think the Wii U obviously isn't gonna like uh, cl- I don't yeah. think it's I don't think it's cleaning up, but I it's think that there. I think the Wii U definitely will. That's another. Thing. Yeah. I mean, Smash Brothers kids are gonna want Smash Brothers, but yeah, Mario people Kart. are gonna want Smash Brothers, you know. Uh, I think it's a family console, I guess. Yeah, but you know, you get Super, I don't Ma- see that. Super Mario Maker. Yeah, I still don't. Even with that, I, I still mean, but don't that's see it, that's that like that comes out September 11th, which is odd. Um, but you know, I really want to buy a Wii U because of Super Mario Maker. But I also think it's kind of weird to just buy an Xbox. I mean, buy a, a Wii U yep. just for Super Mario Maker. Fair enough. But, I mean, I bought the Xbox for Master Chief Collection, so... <laughs> yeah. I have been known to make purchases for, like, I bought the wood chipper for the one time I'm going to need to chip all this wood. And, like, it totally pays for itself over-renting a wood chipper. But then, right. like, it's probably going to sit. Like, the reality is I'm buying it knowing that it's going to sit, like, three weeks from now. And I'm probably mm-hmm. not going to use it again for, like, another year, Maybe you know it depends on if some more trees fall in my backyard but yeah, right but like i really do want super mario maker i mean i've wanted a wii u for a long time anyways just because i just i'm you know i miss right. those so nintendo been, games yeah. you know True. i've been playing link to the past on my gamepad or whatever oh link to the past one of my favorite games ever dun, 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 that's one thing i like about nintendo uh for one dun, 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 is if you had it on the Wii, you can buy it again for. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. You can buy it again for a discounted price. Wait, what? Yeah, you can't just port it over because I guess it's some kind of weird thing. But you could buy it again for. Like so it knows what that's that's complete bullshit. So it knows that you've bought the game, so it gives you a discount on it, and then just instead of just being like, well, you can just re-download it. God damn it, yeah. Nintendo! You bastards! I'll pay the buck fifty for Super C again. 
Well, I mean, technically, you can go into the Wii mode and just play it that way. But oh. if you want to go to the Wii mode and just want to play it in the gamepad, you can rebuy it for like a dollar fifty. No, oh. well, I would just go into like, Wii mode and play it on that. Right. I was like, well, I don't want to fucking no, do that. I ain't no bitch. <laughs> I'm a lazy bitch. <laughs> so I was like, mm-hmm. for a dollar fifty. Screw you, Nintendo. You got five bucks for me for a game that you made in the early eighties. <laughs> Not giving you another dollar fifty, but I'll give you like the fifty nine ninety nine for Super Mario Maker. I saw that there's a thing though. Uh, moderators are going to be like checking Super Mario Maker levels because it turns out you can't publish a level if you haven't beaten it. So you can't make a level that is, you know, basically impossible, right? Like there's just oh. no way you couldn't. You can't force your way into building a level that's impossible, but. <laughs> Um, cause that would be, cause think about how many people would just make levels you could never actually beat. It's so like, you can't publish a level until you've beaten it yourself. Uh, okay. which I think is, I think that at least that's nice. It's right. Enough. Yeah. That's right. Um, can't beat that guy and be like, I'm gonna post this level cause I'm an asshole. Exactly. But I did see a thing saying that like Nintendo people are going to have to like moderate some of the levels, I guess, in the sense that maybe they're concerned people will do something like right. offensive i guess i don't really know exactly what they mean penis but... tunnel yeah penis tunnels even though i thought they put software on there to that checks it so if you try to do something like that it'll immediately take it off or something like that i don't know something right. like that it's possible i mean it's just the usual you know how it is yeah but it's just I, you know, the, the holiday season will be interesting. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be different too because you're like you have to remember that like not everybody's gonna be getting games at launch, and depending on how good or bad certain games do, they may oh, be the discount. Yeah, that they might see like a steep ass price drop when they Shit. launch. So you know, I mean, I don't think the Uncharted Collection is gonna have any problems selling, but no. you know, probably not because I'm sure there's a there's newer players that. Have the PS4 that have never that you, played it have, before. Yeah, they never had a PS3, so yeah, so that'd be the first time playing. To, this is their way to catch up. Before the only bad they, thing is if they find out that it had multiplayer and doesn't have it, they're gonna be like, "Wait, what the hell?" Right. That's one problem they'll have. I don't know if enough people complain. Naughty Dog will probably be like, "All right, fine, we'll patch it in," or whoever, Blueprint, Bluepoint, whatever did the port. They'll probably be like, all right, we'll pitch, we'll patch it in. If there's a way to do that, I don't know. I'm not. Uh, a game dev. I don't know how it works. But yeah, that's the thing. It's just like, well, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know how it's going to work, but I, but again, it's like, you know, we're, we are, you know, a few months out before the holiday season really kicks in. Plus you're all, you got to remember what's, you know, what happens at black Friday, right? You know, black Friday, you know, Thanksgiving, those sales, you know they're going to be pushing. They're going to be pushing consoles. They're going to be pushing hardware, software, accessories. You know you've sure. got. You know Mad Cats has got those those awesome fight sticks for the PS4. So like, and then you've got Super Street. You know you've got uh, Super Street Fighter, Street Fighter Four, uh, Street Fighter Five. That's PS4 only, right? So you've got. True. You know you got people in the fighting game community who are like, oh, I want to jump up to the next level. Do I just get the PS4 now? Do I get the PS4 later? Do I get the fight stick now? You know, do you start amassing your stuff? Because some of these people True. who are going to want to compete, like they don't have a choice. They got to get the PS4 Four. as soon as they can because they got to start practicing for the competitions. Mm-hmm. Because true. there is no, you know, aside from the PC version, there is no other console version in sight. So if you want to compete in a console tournament for Street Fighter, you better fucking get a PS4, PS4. and start, you know, start grinding. Uh, true. So I think that there's a part of that that's going to push sales. Right. But. Yeah. You know, y'all. That. But no matter what you do, you got to remember that there's always, uh, you know, you've we've got other events that are coming up. Like I don't think there'll be any Halloween sales on like new games, but I bet you Sony's gonna do some flash sales for Halloween. I'm sure Microsoft will do something. Sure. Um, I think I think I think we're I think we're a little too far out. I just think statistically, if PS4 is selling more every month and the xbox one's just kind of catching up i think they'll just be neck and neck but i think i think as far as hardware goes i think hardware will be ps4 i think software will be xbox for the holiday season 
True, um, I agree. I just think the, I think there's way more there's way more saturation of of uh, good Xbox titles versus uh, versus PS4 yeah. titles. Mm-hmm. You know, right? It's true. So, um, you know, I don't think I don't think we'll see anything that kind of changes that, unless for some reason you have like an Arkham Knight disaster where. Oh, yeah. The PC version is junk, or the Xbox version is junk, or the PS4 junk. version is junk. So people, if you have, you know, like me, if you have both consoles, and I start seeing that, you know, only the Xbox version is good, like, I may just get the Xbox version instead. Yeah, right. You know? That's true. It, it, but yeah. I, I'm also swayed by the fact that if all of my friends are going to be getting it on PS4, I may that, just tough it out and deal with it. Right? Usually, I'm just like, you getting it for this, you getting it for this, all right, cool, I'm right. getting it. Yeah, exactly. Like I have like, Destiny. I've got Destiny for PS4. I've got cool. friends who play Destiny on Xbox, but like I haven't picked up Destiny for Xbox. Right. I don't think I. I don't know that I will unless it was cheap and I said whatever. I'll grind it out. Um, true. But you know, to be honest with you, I if does Destiny have split screen multiplayer? I don't think it no. does. Yeah, I was gonna no. say because if it did, I might get that because at least that I could play with my brother. Oh, whereas your brother, Halo yeah. Five doesn't have it, which is just so ridiculous. Which is weird. But yeah, it's a whole other subject. Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. Yeah, that's another thing to factor in, I guess, too, for the holiday stuff. But I mean, no parents are gonna know. Oh, can my kids play together? And I'm sure the whatever employee that's not game friendly it's like oh yeah yeah it's like the other halos because i doubt they had meetings where it's like hey you know Big this game has, that, this game has that yeah i doubt yeah. they had meetings like that unless it's like gamestop or something like that right i mean i i imagine the people who work in like the you know gaming department in walmart and target like you know if you get the kid who's into video games you'll probably be fine but like Still, yeah. if, if it's just the person who's filling in in the electronics department they might not have the answer you're looking for. Right. They're just like, they'll look at the back and be like, no, yeah, it says yeah. two players. Boom. You know? Yeah. I also wonder what kind of TV deals we're going to see come Black Friday. I saw a 4K one on at Walmart on Black Friday for like 500 Yeah. Which then would have been a good deal. Right. I, sick ass deal. I just can't, I can't deal with the crowds. Like that's, I mean, that's Black Friday is a topic for another discussion. We'll we'll touch black we'll touch on Black Friday like in November when we get there, um, right? But uh, I think, I think that's probably all we can really, I mean, yeah, for the holiday one. Like I said, we were trying to keep we're trying to keep these episodes short, and obviously you're probably gonna know that there was a clip that we had to cut and edit in the middle because we had the um, the call dropped. But uh, I mean, I think we'll just call it there and. We'll give the shout out to Icy Dude for giving us the the question. Thank you for the question, um, Icy Dude. Honestly, off the top of my head, I cannot think of your Twitter because I keep thinking your Twitch is your Twitter, and I don't think it is because you you call yourself Icy Dude, but your Twitch is KB. But I don't think that's your Twitch or your Twitter rather. So I will shout you out is in it? the annotations. I I want to say it's a Kevin Bahar. I, I think it's, it's his, that. I one. think it's just his name because that's the, the KB, KB, which but his PSN is Ice. I. <sighs> This is why you need to you need to condense. You need to be which I I'm no better. Like my PSN is Jbon, my tw- my Twitch is Jbon, Twitter is, but my Twitter is so my after PSN I said. yeah my Twitter is so after I said. Anyways, yeah. so uh, you can follow us at the DG Cast. You can follow me at so after I said. You can follow Mike at M Tom one. Yep. Um. So that'll do it for episode thirty two. Mm-hmm. And we mm-hmm. will catch you on the flip.